cannot turn on TV or get on YouTube without seeing some brand promoting moisture. And most pe most of the time, the term moisture and hydration are used interchangeably, but they are very different. And today, I'm gonna break down the difference between moisture and hydration, and how you not understanding the two can lead to so many different hair shaft and follicle disorders. So, let's hop into it. Before we get started, make sure you go ahead and subscribe here to my channel and then click on that bell notification so you're notified every single time I post another video because it gets good over here on my channel, okay? If you don't know who I am, my name my name is Sin and I am a licensed cosmetologist, herbalist, trichologist, research scientist, and a couple of other things. And in this video, we are going to break down moisture and hydration and how you can understand the two and you can understand how you can properly get moisture and hydration and know that a product doesn't hold the hydration you need. Let's get into it. Hydration is the process of water absorption and retention by the skin cells ensuring that they remain plump and luscious. This involves water molecules penetrating the skin's outer layer and then being retained by the deeper layers of the skin. This helps to maintain your skin's overall elasticity and health. That's hydration. Moisture, on the other hand, refers to the presence of water on the skin surface. This is really important for preventing dryness and maintaining a smooth, supple appearance to the skin. But key word is appearance. Moisture can be provided through various sources like different products or different environmental factors. Now, a lot of us think that when we use all of these different products from these different product lines, it's like, oh, moisture retention, or you do the lock method, or, the, or all of these different methods and using oils and butters and have you noticed that no matter what oil and no matter what butter you use your skin is super dry like it never gets better you find that you literally don't have a choice but to add that oil because if you don't add the oils if you don't add the butters then your skin will be extremely dry right well there's a reason for that because most people who use oil and butter this doesn't just go for the scalp this also goes for like the skin on your on the rest of your body right most people are using used to slathering their bodies in creams and oils and butters and things of that nature and for the time being right it appears that you are moisturizing or you are doing something great for your skin but what if I told you that most of the time when you are moisturizing your skin or when you're greasing the scalp and putting all of these heavy oils and butters on the skin you're actually doing more harm than good let's break it down scientifically because I know you don't believe me there is a substance found naturally in our skin that aids in hydration. Natural moisturizing factor also known as NMF, right? So NMF is a mixture. This is a mixture of water soluble compounds like different amino acids, fatty acids, and minerals. This helps to maintain the skin's hydration levels by, by aiding the body in attracting hydration. This helps to maintain the skin's hydration by attracting and retaining water molecules. Now, when we apply different moisturizers to the skin, right, they contain different things like mineral oil, petroleum, or heavy butters or oils, heavy oils like a coconut oil or a heavy oil like a flaxseed, I'm sorry, heavy oil like a flaxseed oil, just a lot of the heavy oils and a lot of the heavy butters that you use, right? Even your Blue Magic, your Pink Oil Moisturizer, especially your Blue Magic. They all form a barrier on the skin's surface, right? And when they form a barrier on the skin's surface, it directly affects this natural process. Most people think that it helps because it prevents moisture loss by preventing evaporation. But remember, moisture and hydration are two completely different things. 
things adding oils and things of that nature even the thing that everybody came up with with coconut oil it was to prevent moisture loss because by creating a barrier you guys know water and oils don't mix so by you creating that barrier it prevents moisture loss it prevents the water from leaving but it also is going to do something else that is going to prevent hydration by you adding extra products to improve moisture what you actually end up doing it inhibits the skin's natural hydration process by preventing water from penetrating that first and second layer of the skin because that's where your hydration is coming from you need the water from the environment to penetrate the hair's cuticle you need the water from the environment to penetrate the hair the hair's follicle you need that oxygen flow and if you want moisture within your hair and if you want hydration your hair is only getting hydration and water from you drinking the water and from the environment so do you see how the overuse of moisturizers actually hurt way more than they help and this is why no matter how many products you put in your hair as the product wears off your hair is back to being it's back to being dry back to being brittle back to being broken back to being flaky this is why most women who do team natural stuff at the end of the day you go to see a licensed cosmetologist you sit in a chair and they do a full detox on your scalp and then your hair breaks off it's not that oh this person damaged your hair you were full your hair was full of moisture but had zero hydration so the second any type of heat tools or the second anything was done to it your hair was damaged because it's not properly hydrated the different fatty acids and lipids that live within the natural sebum that is coming out of the follicle link in the description box was never able to touch the hair shaft because it has been covered in moisturizers give me a five in the chat if things are making sense all right let's keep going now some people would think oh creating a barrier is great because it prevents evaporation but it also prevents hydration as well so you that's why you have to have a balance of moisture and hydration there needs to be a balance moisture and hydration are not the same thing and by overusing moisturizers you limit the amount of hydration that your hair shaft and your scalp are able to get this is why no matter what you put on your scalp is dry and this is why when you go to see a dermatologist a dermatologist will tell you that the only thing that belongs on the scalp is shampoo and this is why I hope it makes sense the hydration that your skin needs and the hydration that your hair shaft needs it has to penetrate deep this is why porosity is so important you need to know how your cuticle opens and closes so you know which products you use to help your your hair shaft open and close throughout the day not just that wash day not just that time that you're doing your hair but throughout the week until your next wash day the products and the tools that you use need to be the type of products and tools that make it easy for your hair to receive the type of hydration that it needs and to moisturize is something that almost happens naturally when you select the right products right so the leave-in conditioner is acting as the moisturizer for my client's hair throughout the blow drying process right that is my moisturizer and then as I'm moving through it's also my conditioning aid my heat protectant and now the hydration is going to come naturally through the week through my client or through you getting the moisture that your hair needs from the water from the environment or from you getting the moisture that you need from what you drink I really hope this is making sense this is why it is so vitally important to maintain a moisture and hydration balance because they are not the same moisture is pertaining to the amount of actual water contained within the hair shaft itself and I need you to remember that the human hair shaft can only absorb 36% of what you put on it that's why it's important for you to know your porosity so you know which moisturizing products to use and this is why it's imperative that you do not slather your hair and products this should never happen you should never have so much product on your hair that you can see like white crud like that shouldn't happen you are using entirely too much product and this will definitely cause your hair
hair to be drier than normal. You also sleeping in conditioner or not rinsing out your conditioner properly. All of these things matter. Moisture, all you need for moisture with your hair is, in my opinion, my favorite are water-based leave-in conditioners. I'll leave a few of my favorite water-based leave-in conditioners in the description box below and here and yeah and here and then it should be down here somewhere like the products will be here so those these are going to be some of my favorite leave-in conditioners whatever leave-in conditioner you go with I really really employ you to stick with that product line so if you go with that leave-in conditioner use their shampoos and conditioners you know what I mean you know what I'm saying hydration you guys you adding products to the hair is not going to increase hydration it will increase moisture to hydrate your hair properly you need to know your hair's porosity you need to know your skin cell turnover cycle you need to know your body's full profile right your porosity all of that check the links in the description box below and just watch all of my videos there are so many videos here right i have everything broken down into playlists check some of those playlists out or if you don't feel like watching all of the videos you can join the seven day challenge where i have everything broken down into actionable steps you do not need oil to have moisturized hair or to even have oily hair here on the screen you can see a couple of the beauties within the seven day challenge and they are like oh my god it's been five days and i cannot believe my hair is this oily you guys it's not a game right so i really want you guys to pay attention to the way that you're doing your hair because that is going to directly lead into the way that your body is able to produce sebum and all of that so again you can either watch my video links in the description box below everything draw now or you can go ahead and join the seven day challenge understanding your porosity is really 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 going to help you really understand exactly how to treat your hair shaft so if you want to learn more about your porosity make sure you check the video listed in the description box the playlist in the description box all on hair porosity and it'll explain it a little deeper there because it is so important porosity is like number one i have more in-depth information on how exactly to go about it so if you need a little bit more information make sure you head over to my blog listed here and you can get a really detailed breakdown of five steps that you can follow to have a proper moisture and hydration balance so if you want to know exactly how to balance it for free just head right over to my blog it's free and we'll head like talk about it over there so again a lot of people not gonna like what I gotta say but I don't really care um moisture and hydration are two completely different things and you will not get hydration that you need for your hair and skin through hair products the more moisturizers you use the more dehydrated your skin actually becomes okay look deeper into the things that i taught you today and let's meet back in my next video